Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is not loading on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to delete this crash report.exe and crash report DLL DLL. But first of all, create a backup. So you can go to the game installation folder, make a right click on the game over here, select manage. Now click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder. Now over here you can see uh, you have to select crash report.exe. So crash report.exe and then it's a crash report dll.dll. So you have to copy these two files. So copy these two files. Once you copy it, now you can just create a backup. So you can paste it to the desktop. Now once you have the backup over here, now you can go back to the game installation folder and delete these two files. Now once this is deleted, now you can launch the game. If you face any kind of error or any problem, you can put these two files back to the game installation installation folder if you face any kind of error message. But for, for many users, this has worked, so you can try this and then check. Next step is to enable debug mode in, in NVIDIA control panel. So go to, if you have NVIDIA card, make a right click on the desktop and then click on show more option and then click on NVIDIA control panel. Now once NVIDIA control panel is open, at the top here you can see help option, go to help and then click on debug mode. So once debug mode is checked over here, now you can launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, if you're if you're using Windows security, then open Windows settings and then go to privacy and security. If you have Windows 11, if you have Windows 10, click on update and security. Now click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Now click on allow an app through controlled folder access. Click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app. Now click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive program files x86. Now open the Steam folder. Now open the Steam apps folder. Now open the common folder. Now open the game folder. And then select the game exe file and then click on open. Once the game is added, now type in control panel in Windows search box, go to control panel, system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Now click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings on the top. Click on allow another app, click on browse. And then again, open the game folder. Open the Steam, Steam apps. Open the common folder. Now open the game folder, select the game exe file, click on open and then click on add. In my case, the game is already added. So once you have the game added, now you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. So make a right click on the game once again, select manage, now click on browse local files and then here you can see the game exe file. Make a right click on the game exe file, select properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK. Make a double click launch the game from here. If that does not work, go to properties once again. And this time, put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. If not working, this time you can select Windows 7, hit apply, click on OK and then launch the game and then check. Still not working. Put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. So now it's still not working. So when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working. In that case, you can uncheck these boxes. Hit apply, click on OK and then follow the next step. Now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to NVIDIA website and scroll down over here, select the NVIDIA card. Make sure that you select your graphic card over here. Select the right series and then select the right graphic card. And then if you have the if you have Windows 10, select Windows 10. If you have Windows 11, select Windows 11, then click on find.
now on this screen uh, here you will see the latest graphic card driver right now it's 566.03 click on view now over here you will see the download option click on download and once the download is complete over here you will see the download once the download is complete you can run this exe file now once you run the exe file click on yes to allow and then click on ok and then you will see the screen click on agree and continue and then select the option which says custom select custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete after the installation restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to now for AMD users first of all uninstall the current version of graphic card driver and then restart your computer and then go to AMD website select your graphic card install the latest graphic card driver restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings and then click on add a desktop app over here and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder now once you open the game folder select the game exe file click on add once it is added scroll down and find the game or you can simply search the game so uh, you can check the game in the list So once you scroll down, you will see the game over here. Now you can click on the game and then over here, you can select high performance and you will see your graphic card. So select high performance over here. Now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to verify or rep uh, verify the game files. Now for this, uh, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties and then go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files now once the verification is complete now you can launch the game and then check next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in launch option so you can make a right click on the game select properties and then in the launch option over here type in dash dx11 now you can launch the game and then check you can close this launch the game and then check still not working go to properties once again and then this time type in dash d3 d11 and then check still not working you can try dash dx12 and then you can launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so open windows settings go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website scroll down here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 you have to download x86 and x64 so download both the file x86 file and once the download is complete you can run this exe file click on it now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install now download this x64 file as well so run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option install it now once installed make sure both are installed once installed restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game next step is to unplug all the external devices so if you have hotas wheel pedals or any kind of external devices which you are not using if you have any kind of additional usb adapter connected you can disconnect it if you have extra controller connected disconnect it disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor if you have any third party application running you can close it disable steam overlay now for this go to steam make a right click on the game select properties turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then launch the game and then check if you have any other overlay application like if you're discord running turn off overlay in discord settings turn off in-game overlay in geforce experience settings 
or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Also, close all the overclocking application. Like if you have MSI Afterburner running, Revert Unit running, close all the overclocking application and then launch the game. Also, if you have undervolted, you can remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step, you can skip this step if you are not able to launch the game. But if you are able to launch the game, disable upscaling, turn off frame generation, try window mode and lower down graphics settings. So if you are able to launch the game, launch the game first. Now, once you launch the game, you can go to options over here and then go to display settings first. Now, over here, you can try window mode. If the resolution is set to 4K, you can try 1920 into 1080p. You can even lower down more. And then frame rate, I have set it to 60. And VSync, if this is enabled, you can disable it and then check. If this is disabled, you can enable it and then check. Now, over here, you can see NVIDIA reflects low latency mode. If this is enabled, you can disable it and then you can check. Now, go to graphics settings over here. Now, graphics settings, if this is set to like ultra, you can set it to high. You can even try medium or you can even go for low quality. And over here, you can see upscaling. Now, disable this upscaling. So over here, if this is enabled, if you, if you have selected NVIDIA DLSS or AMD FSR, then in that case, you can put a check on disable over here. Once you disable it, now you can check. Now, so try to lower down graphic settings and then if the frame generation is enabled over here, you can disable it and then you can check the performance. Now, the next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case is 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte. Now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 491152. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive. So if nothing is working, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game and then 
select manage now click on uninstall now after you uninstall it go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder restart your computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to external drive or d drive or e drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive then try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel